Hey folks, Tim Newman with Soft Light Studios bringing you yet again another daily assignment. Today's assignment for August 30th, 2019. Our assignment today is titled Backgrounds. So let's say we pretend to be with law enforcement and do some background checks. Well, all right, maybe that's not such a good idea. Don't get in trouble out there. I'm just kidding. Let's just check out some great backgrounds and get some really great images of them. Let's take a look at some of our sample images here. Now, the first question you might be asking is, why shoot backgrounds? You know, I shoot backgrounds all the time. I try to shoot clouds. I try to shoot just kind of generic scenes where I see them because they work really well for composite imaging. They give you something to stick behind that picture that you may take in the future that doesn't have a great background. So then you got a whole collection of them or a library of them to use. In this first sample image, Really straightforward image. We're working the vertical lines here in the scene. We're really taking a look at the texture and the shapes here in this pattern. And we are really thinking about a very minimalized color set here. And as you're thinking about this color set, it's important to think that this color set might style well with other color sets that are in those same family of hues. In our next sample image, this is just an overhead shot of a pool. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I think it makes a really interesting pattern, if you will. And there's a little bit of repetitive to this, even in the chaotic nature of the image that exists here. And also, it's very monochrome, so it would work really well against any image as a foreground subject that was either complementary or monochrome in nature as well. These are really easy to color style, by the way, in Photoshop as a layer. So that's something you might want to take a look at. Let's take a look at our elements of design here that matter and what we're shooting here today. Don't forget lines in these guys. Lines really help. And then, of course, lines make shapes and then inevitably what we're really looking for typically in these backgrounds is patterns and maybe in some cases symmetry but the patterns really matter here a lot all right let's take a look at some more sample images i don't know about you but it's breakfast time where i'm at and i'm immediately hungry i see this uh, sprinkled over some granola with a little bit of yogurt well okay that really is kind of deviating from the subject at hand here but this obviously isn't a completely organized shot with a lot of pattern to it, but there's pattern to it all the same. And I also think that the, the reds and the blues and the purples here work really well as a color set. So it feels somewhat uh, homogenous in nature to me, and I think it would work really well as a background image. Here's another one. This is just working some Christmas lights and taking the whole scene out of focus and really maximizing the bouquet that exists in those specular highlights. You can see as you're looking at this bouquet on the screen that these are really nice round orbs of light indicating that this lens probably was in that 9 to 11 aperture blade area, if you will. And then you see some of the... Uh, out of focus snow falling at the same time. I think this makes for a really great generic holiday themed background, if you will. In our last sample image, some more wood. This time though, with this wood, we're really working the texture. And if you think about it, nice color set here with the orange and the blue kind of popping off one another. Uh, there's a little bit of white peeking out here and there, but White doesn't really have a hue to it, so it really is just about those two complementary colors. You can see that we're working the vertical lines here really well. There is a pattern, believe it or not, in those vertical lines and in the horizontal lines of the checking in that texture. By the way, you know, we talk about having that one break in the pattern. Look at that lower left corner with that one piece of wood that's tacked on there. That is the break in our pattern. All right, let's take a look at some of the rules of composition here that matter to us. Balance is really important here. Tonal balance, of course, and subject balance matters here as well. A lot of this is about leading lines. Now, the leading lines aren't necessarily leading us to the center of the frame here, but they are leading us into the frame and out of the frame in a lot of these cases. What we talk about as being those entry and exit points. Last but not least, point of view really matters here. In a lot of these background images, we are perfectly square 
to the focal plane of the image itself, making it really uniform all the way throughout the scene, all the way to all four edges. That matters a lot. All right, let's take a look at some of our export specifications. If you are going to submit a file for a semi-monthly image critique, you want to export it using the guidelines that you see here. Here is an example of a file name for today's date and our naming standard. If none of this makes any sense to you, please take a look at our update 01 video for which you will find a link below in the description. Also, down there by that description, you will find a link for the upload URL so you could submit this image for this monthly image critique consideration. Last but not least, in terms of links, don't forget that subscribe button, best link on the page. All right, folks, go out there and find some backgrounds. And while you're shooting those backgrounds, remember, learning equals skills, practice equals mastery. We'll see you out there.